our channel Adoramos Viajar is about travel. And generally talking about travel is talking about good things, happy things. But in the last videos we have shown another facet, the one of sad moments. It is very sad to see in the TV news. Places we have already visited usually very crowded with people and now practically empty watching Pope Francisco praying with an empty St. Peter's Square behind and remembering how it used to be e a emoção Segurou a emoção. <laughs> Make us take a deep breath and reflect. What a new world is this? What a change are going to happen? How are we going to do? There are so many questions, right? And who have the answers? Will be different after all this. More questions. We have used in the, our last videos images of World War II concentration camps and also excerpts from the a documentary film about the terrorism camp. Our goal is to show what can be called, in fact, the isolation. with testimonies from survivors. There are dramatic images that impact us. Conditions the old people lived in, they uh, had no sanitation and they couldn't get to the bathroom, so they had no food, they couldn't wash themselves, there wasn't enough staff to wash them, and the stench was just unbelievable. There was an epidemic of typhoid earlier in 42, 43, which took a lot of children and young people. In another testimony, a late report, we live in Birkenau, eight months. In fact, it cannot be said that we live it. We only existed. Actually, we lived in Birkenau for eight months. Uh, lived is a very difficult word to say, lived, because you existed. In the last video, Coronavirus 3, we say that many are in the denial phase. 
the one in which we refuse to accept something and we show scenes that illustrate this well. It would be the phase of denial. Perhaps this is the stage we find ourselves today. We do not believe that the thing will reach a critical situation. This stage of denial is part of one of the five stages of mourning, described in the 1969 book About Death and Dying by the Swiss-American psychiatrist Elizabeth Kubler-Ross. Although the study became known as the five stages of mourning, the author also used it for any form of personal loss. We will allow ourselves to make some analogies, certainly subject to criticism, recalling that, according to the author, not everyone follows this sequence, and not everyone goes through all of them. After denial comes the anger stage. I think we have not yet fully reached this stage but we already see signs that this is approaching. Next comes the bargain stage, when cases of death increase and are out of control because of the collapsed health system. People will start to bargain. Well, I will respect social isolation, not to be infected, because no people die. But as the study's author points out, at this stage people make promise to try to avoid the final result, but that may no longer resolve. In the study in question, now comes the stage of depression, of anguish, of sadness, which may be short or long, depending on several factors. It comes when the person becomes aware of this fragility. Jenny Zampino tem 41 anos e usa as redes sociais para mostrar que estão enganadas. Não faço nada. Não tomei qualquer precaução contra este vírus que, infelizmente, entrou no meu corpo e, entretanto, ele matou a pessoa que eu mais amava na vida, o meu pai. Toda a gente diz que este vírus é uma gripe normal, mas posso dizer que não é uma gripe normal. Ele entra em ti, apodera-se de ti e prende-te os pulmões. Until the acceptance phase arrives, that is, when you start to reorganize life. And then, we from the channel Adoramos Viajar will talk about what we like the most, about traveling. But it will be a new world. We don't know if it will be a better world, but we want to be there to see it with our own eyes.